still on St. Simon's Island. We're in what's called the Red Fern Village. And it's like one of these places you'd go if you were down here. Kind of, even if you lived here, there's lots and lots of little restaurants and shops. And it is a ghost town. Normally this place you'd, you'd have a lot of people, you know, opening up their businesses. And a lot of them are boarded up. And some of them chose not to. But we're the only car in the place. If you're ever in the state of Georgia, out on the coast, I highly recommend taking a stop in at St. Simon's Island and checking out King's Village and the Redfern Village and have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And enjoy the atmosphere, because it, it's, it's really nice down here. And it's not gonna cost you a fortune, especially if you're coming down from the Northeast or a lot of other places. I guess up in the North, the hotel rates down here are way, way cheaper than what you pay up there. Surprise, these lights are still on. Somebody forgot to turn the lights off. Chicken of the sea. But yep, this place is just flat out a ghost town. And They're going to reopen Friday, the 6th, and today is, of course, Wednesday, the 4th. Well, we're in Georgia, and as you know, when you're in Georgia, they'll say, how about them dogs? And how about them dogs? This guy, he don't give a crap about how big the hurricane gets. He says he can, he can take it. Yeah, believe it or not, I used to have a business in the shopping center back in the mid-90s. We had three locations, and one of them was right here. And it was... If I remember right, it's been a long time. It was mm, it was probably here. It was in this where this flower shop is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure of it. And there was a Christian science reading room next to me. That's gone too. But yeah, I was right there. I was either in 225 or 224. It looks like they opened the whole thing up. And we didn't we didn't we didn't keep this spot for I know where it was now. It was this one right here. Because Scott Alarm does not exist anymore. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that this was it. I actually did get broken into, too. I didn't really get broken into. The front door glass got broken, and it was a kid on a skateboard, and he, he was doing one of those ollies or whatever. And the skateboard smashed the window, and he took off. And it was at night. It was after we were closed. Just reminiscing. All right, I'm out of here.